up guys my name is aman and i welcome you to everything robotics today in this video we'll see how to integrate matlab and gazebo as a prerequisite you'll be required to have a linux system and you should have build tools matlab and gazebo pre-installed if not check out the link given in the description for the installation process so now let us move on to the main tutorial Okay, so now the first thing that I want you to do is to fire up the terminal and create a directory where you will be storing necessary files for the core simulation. Let me create a directory, let's say gzmtsim, shorthand for gazebo matlab simulation. Let us go to that newly created directory and run matlab in that directory. So this matlab will be used to generate files that is required for building the plugin that will be used for core simulation and we'll build it using make files so now as you can see we have opened up matlab and we are in the newly created directory as you can see gzmtsim on the top right so i want you to now type in the package gazebo plugin command which will generate necessary files and folders for the core simulation as you can see it has generated one folder and a file uh, we can go to the file explorer and see it for ourselves as well and as uh, you can see it has generated this gazebo plugin and we have all the necessary files that is required now let me close matlab and let me clear all of this first so clear command and now let me go to the gazebo plugin folder uh, but before that maybe we can check what all files are there in this directory so ls is for checking files and folders and then gazebo plugin we'll go and now we are going to create a folder called uh, build where we are going to generate the make files using cmake so make directory build and then we'll go to that directory build and then we are going to invoke cmake and from here we'll run the command make with a minus j8 tag for compiling the entire plugin but as you can see on the first one you will get some error this is because the cmake is using c++11 standard but in the project they are asking for c++17 standard so as you can see in the error so it is asking for c++17 standards so what we are going to do we are going to uh, change the cmake file ourselves and for that we'll go one directory back cd dot dot and then we are going to oh, let me clear all of this then we are going to edit the cmake file so i'm going to use nano editor and due to some permission issue i had to use sudo so we'll use sudo nano cmake list and i'll type in my password ah wrong password yeah yeah no no here we are so the idea is to change the command wherever you see 11 you just have to change it to 17 that's the idea so here there's 11 we are going to change it to 17 and here also we are going to change it to 17 and here there's one more i guess yeah up here standard signal yeah so 17 will make it 17 so i guess now we are good to go now press ctrl s to save it and ctrl x to exit let us now start all over again so we'll delete the previously created build folder using the rm command and then again we'll create a directory named build and then we'll go to that folder and from there we'll invoke the cmake command and then we'll use the make command to compile all the plugin the compilation process might take some time, so till then you can have a coffee. So there are chances that you might get some error after the compilation process, but don't worry, if you run the same make command 2-3 times, uh, the error will go away. So actually there is a problem in the cmake list that they have made. But anyways, if you get such problem, just run the same command a couple of times. Let us now see an example which is provided by the robotics toolbox in MATLAB. So we'll fire up MATLAB. So 
So in the MATLAB, we'll be running a Simulink model called Perform Co Simulation with Gazebo, and simultaneously we'll be also running Gazebo. And this is the command to open the example. All right. Meanwhile, it's loading. We'll go to the uh, build plugin folder and Gazebo plugin. Then we'll go to the export folder. This is where all your uh, building of files have been done. All your binaries have been created in that folder. Then we'll be uh, executing this command. And then we'll be running the Gazebo with the example. This example is provided in the folder itself, in the Gazebo plugin folder. So the name of the example is multi sensor plugin test. So you'll see the gazebo world will load up. So in the world you can see there are multiple sensors. So typically we have one IMU sensor and then we have LiDAR sensor and we also have a camera here and you can see some uh, cubicle boxes here as well. And as you can see our Simulink window has also shown up and now uh, we'll try to understand how these things are working or you, you can see there are multiple display uh, sinks and you know there are, there are IMUs and LiDAR scan let us run this first all right it might take some time to load Okay, it has started running, I guess. Yes, so as you can see in the IMU section, you are getting some data, some, uh, you know, linear acceleration, angular velocity, some orientation, and you can also see we also have RGB camera here, LiDAR, and in the figure two, you can see the camera data is being displayed, and in the figure one, we have basically the cloud points of the LiDAR sensor. So this is it for the example. So in the next video, we'll see how we can import our custom model and kind of implement this plugin in Gazebo and use it with MATLAB. Thank you.